The Fort Lauderdale Elder Care Channel is brought to you by Sydney Shugani and the great folks with Right at Home of Broward County. Today's guest is Daniel Coriat, Managing Director for i of South Florida. Welcome to the Fort Lauderdale Elder Care Channel. My name is Sydney Chigani. I'm your host for today. Today we have Daniel Coriat from i of Miami. This is a new concept and we're going to learn more about this during the interview. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you. Very glad to be here. Glad to have you. I look forward to our discussion to help our viewers get a better understanding of how they can avail of the services of an advocate for seniors or a senior advocate. How long has i been in business? So we've been in business for over 17 years. Okay. Please define for our audience the market area served by your business. Is it just Broward County or other multiple surrounding counties? Or no, Miami? Yes, no, we provide services to basically the whole South Florida area, Broward, Miami-Dade, we provide everyone. Okay. Could you tell us about your typical client? Yes, of course. Um, so we s like to serve uh, seniors who need assistance in their um, instrumental activities of daily living. And what do I mean by that? Um, people that require help, for example, in managing their um, health care or finances. People that need assistance in, say, for example, pursuing um, benefits or entitlements, uh, or when they get bills that they don't know how to pay or whether they should or not pay, that sort of help we also provide. Many people would like to stay at home, so we make sure that they stay at home safely. And finally, we all want to be happy. So we are especially trained to make sure that the retirement ages day, days are uh, full of pursuing interests uh, that are fulfilling and that are meaningful. Interesting. We do want everybody to be comfortable at home, right? Absolutely, yes. So without using actual names, can you think of a particular case, what your client had to go through and how you were able to help your client? Yeah, yeah. So, and, and the case that comes to mind is probably emblematic of uh, the kinds of cases that we get to see. Um, I got a call from uh, the son of a retired couple. He lives out of state and his father passed away a few weeks prior. Um, he was frustrated, he was tired, even he, he actually had to catch a plane to fly back home um, with so much unfinished business and so worried about the well-being of her mom. Um, see, he was, his dad was 83 when he passed. Uh, her mom, his mom is now 80. And they were married for 52 years. They had a very nice, in happy retirement life. Uh, he was in charge of finances. He was in charge of all the health care issues. She was in charge of the house. She's a great cook. Um, and all of a sudden, now he's gone. So um, the son calls us and asks for help. We go there and first we focused on the finances. We quickly discovered that he, is, uh, he, he had traces of being a hoarder, that he accumulated things and purchased compulsively and uh, online via like Amazon and things of that nature and tended to have all these things piling up. So, we canceled all the unnecessary subscriptions and the recurring purchases that were um, you know, draining their, sa their, their, their sa savings. Um, we also went through every nook and cranny of the house and found, you won't believe this, $30,000 in cash that were tucked away in, in hidden places where she didn't even know. And of course, he was putting that in case when an emergency happens. 
Um, this was money that was completely unknown by anyone, and, but we were able to rescue that. <clears throat> also, there were a number of unwanted antiques and collectibles that neither she nor her son were interested. We went ahead and auctioned them off and uncluttered their homes. Um, we, we were aware of a couple of entitlements that um, he, was, he never knew that he could actually apply for, so we took care of that. <coughs> we, we also saw <coughs> some bills that were sitting there on, the, on, on his desk that he was ready to pay uh, unknowingly because, first of all, the bills were, could have been challenged, and we actually challenged them. And as a matter of fact, the insurance uh, was supposed to cover that. But he was unaware, and you know, thankfully he never went away, uh, gone ahead and, and paid for those bills. Um, so all in all, we were able to consolidate uh, their finances, their bank accounts, close all necessar unnecessary credit cards, and put a financial plan together to make sure that her financial needs uh, would be covered moving forward. That was the financial part. Then we turn into the medical issues. And we discovered that there were there was one prescription that was a legacy one that he that she actually didn't have to take it any longer. But after uh, confirming with her doctor, who he didn't know that she was still taking it, we stopped she stopped having it. <clears throat> Um, we also rearranged the schedule of her prescriptions so that the ones that cause drowsiness, she takes now before bed, uh, and now she enjoys more uh, the day, and she can sleep more soundly. And, um, you know, by the way, there was a one of the specialists uh, didn't pass his notes to her doctor, so we kind of like made a whole consolidation of her medical records to make sure that uh, we had a clear and updated picture of her medical status. That was the medical part. Then let's go to the emotional one. Remember I told you that we all, we all want to be happy. And because we are certified senior advisors, we are in a unique position to understand particular issues that seniors go through. Like for instance, the stages of retirement. You have euphoria, then you have depression. We understand that. We understand when people lose their spouses. The stages of grief. And because of that, we assisted her in going through the, uh, the different stages of grief, making sure that, they were go that she passes through them in a healthy way. Today, I can say that she, um, she has her healthy moments of sadness. But she has a positive attitude. She's always looking forward to learning new things. Let me tell you this anecdote uh, where she didn't know how to use her husband's iPhone. Uh, so we taught her how to use it. And you had to see her face when she, was, uh, when she clicked on the FaceTime and was able to see her grandkids for the first time. Frankly, I think I was more emotional than she was when I saw that happening. She now, uh, you know, talks to her friends via WhatsApp. Uh, she scrolls through uh, face, uh, Facebook, and you know, she enjoys those videos that you know, the, the tasty videos when they they do all these recipes, and she's fascinated by that. Fascinated by that, she proved to be a fascinating woman, uh, and we enjoyed listening to her life story. She has so much, so much wisdom to share. So we put her in touch with a local community group where other widows and widowers meet. She's now making new friends. Yeah. Uh, so all in all, we feel that she is uh, progressing emotionally. So we talk about the medical, we talk about the financial, we talk about the emotional, and then safety. Safety is paramount for us. So when we got there in the first time, yes, we did find a cozy home. But it was cluttered, uh, and it, there were many items that could be tripping hazards. Many items in the way. So what we did was we removed worn out rugs um, and other items that were in the way. We improved the lighting. 
that many needed a lot of fixing. All of a sudden, the, looks, the place now looks bigger and, of course, safer. We installed bars in her bathroom and in other places to make sure that uh, she has proper support. Mm -hmm. uh, her son uh, asks, it was very adamant for us to uh, install a, um, a wireless monitoring uh, platform that would alert us if she needs any help. She keeps on joking that she is as solid as a rock, and frankly, we, we're in agreement with her. Um, so, you know, her son now can access through our web portal um, everything related to her. He can see her um, healthcare condition, how things are going. He can monitor her finances. He can see how she's developing emotionally. It's a big peace of mind for him. He is so thankful that he calls us his uh, surrogate brother now. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's great. You guys do a lot. Um, well, is there anything you can tell our audience that your services uh, or your service does differently compared to others? Yeah, uh, there are uh, senior advocates. Uh, this is a profession that has been around for quite a while. What differentiates us from our local competitors is that we are the first and currently the only nationwide provider of advocacy and life care management services. As of now, we have operations in 25 different cities across uh, 14 different states, um, and uh, unlike our corporate competitor, our local competitors, we have extensive corporate resources and a state-of-the-art cloud-based client relationship platform and a collective skill set that enables us to tackle even the most complex of cases. Wonderful. Well, Daniel, I have one last question for you. Is there anything else you would like to say to sh uh, share with our audience about i -Corp? Anything at all that you would like for them to know? Yeah, um, I'm glad that you're asking this question, Sidney, because for i -Corp, um, we believe that everyone is entitled to a meaningful quality of life. And as I told you in, uh, in this example that I was relating to, i -Corp believes that quality of life can be uh, achieved when four areas are properly, properly addressed. When the health care issues are properly managed, when the finances are properly managed, when the person thrives emotionally and socially, and when the person is safe. Um, i -Corp has a, the skill set and resources to meet head on each one of these four areas. Our team of registered nurses are advocates and they have at least 10 years of clinical experience and they are passionate about looking after the best interest of our clients. As I said, we're nationwide and we operate in 25 locations, 14 states. South Florida is our latest addition. We are so excited to presenting the i -Corps concept to this community, and we look forward to serving you with passion, with pride, and more importantly, with integrity. That's wonderful. How can our audience reach you if they needed to? So we have a web page. They can reach us at www.icoreglobal.com. And they can reach me at my uh, phone number. It's 305-924-2918. Great. Well, this is Sydney Chigani, your host on the Fort Lauderdale Elder Care Channel. And we're so glad to have Mr. Koryak from Icor today. See you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you.